Hey, what's up, brothers and sisters? This is your world brother, G World Seven Space D. Haven't been around for a little bit, you know, but I'm on again, off again. I'm gonna try to be more consistent. I want to talk a little bit about Cheddar Man. Um, supposedly, uh, they found the skull of a black man where they reconstructed this. They had it uh, the image before, but they portrayed him as a white man before. Now, they said with more tech, advanced technology, they were able to get his color. And they put the Jerry Curl on the brother, just like they did in 88 with the Time magazine. <laughs> with the two black people, was it uh, Adam and uh, Eve, and they had him with a Jerry Curl. <laughs> so the brother looked like he had a Jerry Curl. But uh, this is not old news, simple for the fact is that when you just start studying dates and everything, white-skinned people have not been around that long. They've only been around, we'll say, 5,500 to maybe 7,500 years. So it's quite logical then if the original people originally out of Africa, going back to now 300,000 years. Because at first, you know, they, used, they were selling you 100,000, and it was 200,000, now it's 300,000. Um... Obviously, when people leaving out of Africa, they're going to still be black going to Europe or to Asia, whatever. And that's when around they enter Europe around maybe 40, 40,000 or 45,000 years ago. So this is not a surprise to me. Uh, I've been known this, but I uh, I wanted to sit back and laugh at the... Um, the white supremacists, how they're really freaking out. Because I looked at some of their YouTube pages and and they're just freaking out, some of them. That, um, that the image of their land, the first person, is that of a black man. So that's funny as in itself. And I, I, this to me, that's just enjoyable. Look at them, look at them, because they're going to be very angry, <laughs> clowning, and seen some of their posts on YouTube now they're trying to say that <clears throat> what these scientists are trying to do is promote multiculturalism no your white asses haven't been around that long you're not that old you're not in a real ancient group you're relatively new well, Africans been around here or black people been around here for thousands of thousands and hundreds of thousands of years well your ass has just been here for a few hundred years <laughs> So, to me, that is extremely comical. But, um, you know, it just, uh, just tells you that how much we need, really need to read about our history and our culture. Uh, I wish I had the book in front of me. It's, I think it's by Maria Gambatis. I pronounced the name correctly. Well, <clears throat> in those particular books that I have, um, they talk about, uh, basically blacks in ancient America, or excuse me, ancient America, my, my bad, ancient Europe, but they don't come out and say black, obviously, but when you look at the little figurines, you can see the body shape of the individuals that they're black, you know, the, the larger buttocks, the fuller lips, you know, even the way they stand, you know, their hands and their shoulders, everything you say, oh, that look like a sister, so that is nothing new. Um, I just think that I wish now this would spark the interest of our people to study and research their history more because what they have been presented is a total lie. You know, just like recently with the Nefer, Nefertiti figure with uh, the Today Show, what they did is they came up with a white person. Now, it was a facial reconstruction done on Nefertiti back, I'm going to say the mid-2000s. And I forget the lady who did it. Uh, she had red hair. Uh, I forget she was. She had like a little afro, white lady. But I can, I believe she had some black ancestry somewhere. But she did something on the Discovery Channel, Learn Channel, one of them. And they did a facial reconstruction that's Nefertiti, and that was a, it was a, obviously a dark brown black woman. So that face that they put there, it looked like Barbara Streisand. Some freaked out ass albinoid man. <laughs> But that just tells you how desperate and low self-esteem these idiots are 
when they do, they'll just try to take your history. If they're so superior, then why are you trying to steal my history? Just build on what you supposedly uh, have and call that, and then call that great instead of trying to steal mine. But that is just it, that is just typical of a lot of these bastards out there. And they'll do anything, and everything, you know, to try to build up their low self-esteem on themselves. Because if if they're so superior, why are you sitting there injecting collagen in your lips? Um, doing butt implants, sitting in the sun, risking skin cancer, try to look like us. It doesn't make any sense if you really view yourself as superior to us. When deep down inside, you want to be us. I recently looked at an article, or seen an article with Tom Jones wanting to test to see does he have black DNA in him because he was always told when he was growing up, he was saying that how his voice and even his hair is a little curly that did he have some black ancestry. So he's testing to see does he have black ancestry. It's so, hey man, it's just, that's funny to me, man. It really is. But it just tells you that, you know, even some of these white folks don't want to be white. <laughs> but it's, it's just really about time that we really study our history and we need to study many different disciplines and how to approach our history. You know, it's great to see more brothers and sisters that start uh, now studying deeper into biology, you know, evolution, but also we need to study stuff like geological aspects, how Egypt was not always, uh, it did not always look like it does today. It was much more greener as you go further back. Now it's more of a desert, you know, a, a deserted desert, let me put it that way. It was more greener. Uh, you can look in the space and tell there was weathering that at one period of time at a certain time, it was large rain that happened in Egypt. Obviously, it's not that today. Um, when you look at the the Mayan, there was recently discovery with the Mayan, how there was more uh, buildings that buried deep under like a forest, which not surprised me because at, after so many thousands of years when it's being abandoned, or hundreds of years, excuse me, it's been abandoned for so long that and it's not the area has not been kept up, then the trees or the leaves, whatever, in that area will rise up and then cover it. You know, but it's, there's so much discoveries that's going on now. And you know, this is something that we, as black people, we really need to look into more, study more, take more seriously, and get into study groups, and to really take hold of our history and culture. Because if we do not do that, then these individuals will continue to distort, lie, and just rob our history. And it's sad, though, because all this information is coming out. Some of this information is real old, but some of this other information is coming out. Like, I um, remember seeing images from the Maya, the Mayan, and the Egyptians. How, when I look at the architecture, they didn't use no bronze no, or no copper tools to build those uh, structures there. They obviously had a form of iron and some other high-tech drilling-type tools. Because I see some holes up in there. That obviously was a drill, and you didn't do that with no damn copper tools. That doesn't make no sense. You keep banging in that stuff and get dull, and it'll be a continuously, you'll be continuously working, and basically be tired out. Basically kill yourself just working, trying to get those those holes at a precise angle, at a, excuse me, at a precise measurement and angle. So I don't believe they use no damn copper tools, and that stuff being spilled by the Egyptologists claiming that they used copper tools to build them structures. No, I believe they were master, master tool people. They had high-tech, advanced civilizations, man, to build those structures, man. You see the the measurements, man, the, the, the pinpoint alignment of how the blocks are aligned on there, man. They did not use no damn copper tools. They had a high form of civilization, and... I believe the civilizations are older than what these individuals are giving these dates to because I believe that some of these, when you're talking about the, some people believe the Sphinx may be 60,000 years old. That means it was before, uh, was it the uh, the supernova that hit the earth and basically wiped out a large percentage of the population around 11,800 to 12,000 years ago. And basically the earth population had to go on a restart. Those monuments are very old and it's now believe also that there may be two sphinxes in egypt so that makes some logical sense 
there's a lot of times that everything's double. Osiris, Set, Isis, Nepetus, Haru, Horus, the younger, and Horus, the, uh, the elder. So you could have two lions out there uh, in Egypt. Not only the regular, what we call the Sphinx, but there's another, probably another Sphinx that's probably more towards the east for the rising of the sun. And the other one that we know about is, is the west, the setting of the sun. So that I've, you know, it's, it's so much out there that's, a lot of people do not know about, and a lot of this information is coming out, but you also have to dig for it because you, they're not just going to give it to you. It's, it's this continuing lying of facts and information to keep people dumb and to keep you ignorant. And then as long as we ignorant, we will continue to kiss the ass or worship people who really do not like us or all they have done is stolen from us. So we really need to sit back and I've said this before in my other postings that we really have to take the time to study our history and our culture. Man, we can't sit up and expect someone else to give us this information. We have to seek it out ourselves. And it's just too much out there. It's too much out there and too much information out there to be ignorant and not to know, you know, what um what is there out there. The information's out there. And um it's it's really sad that when someone would do that, just totally try to strip you of your history. Right now, they're going into tombs of Egypt and uh, whitening up. I know they did with the Minoan civilization, whitening up the images, changing how they look to try to, to fit their narrative. Man, that, that is truly sad, man. That's truly sad. But this is expected, you know. Um, this is why... We need to truly study our history. Not only we need to study it now, but don't get stuck on neutral to studying Africa, Africa, Africa. Study the black civilization in the Pacific and here in the Americas, man. We seem to just be, like I just mentioned, stuck on neutral in Africa, but not talking about the black civilizations here in America that we built in America and what we ruled in Europe. So that Cheddar Man, back to the Cheddar Man, it should not be surprising because we built those castles in Europe. No Caucasians did that. They did not have the technology. We built them damn castles. We ruled them damn castles. The mother people stole it. They stole the identity. Now they're running around up in there. And some of the people getting happy with this prince, um, the the prince of uh, Great Britain uh, in England, marrying this little, um, this uh, uh, mixed black chick, man. I I'm telling you, the, the they're running around in that castle that our ancestors built. And I don't see that we need to be holding them up or holding her up because she's married a bunch of racist devils. But we, as a people, really, really, really need to start taking pride in ourselves and just take time and learn about our history, man. We got to stop this, man. We had a predicament now, man, that everything... We had a point that everything we have to do, everything now, we have to study our information, get all our information now before these fools want to just totally, totally, totally write another narrative or to add on to the lies that they already gonna have, man. So I put that out to brothers and sisters globally. Hopefully brothers and sisters globally um, listen to this. I'm sort of rushing into this. I um, haven't done this in a while, so I apologize about that. But I really would like for brothers and sisters to take more time out to do research their history, to study their history, because this, all this information is coming out, man. There's so much information out there. And then when you look at the architecture, structures that our ancestors did, man, they did not do that with no damn uh, copper tools, man. They have to done that with some form of iron. Great measurements. They, I believe they had lasers, too. And from what I've seen, for those structures, man, that was not done with no simple method. That was done with the highest level of knowledge, of masonry that you can find, man. Mathematics, all there. They did that at the highest level, man. And we're taught that we contribute nothing to world culture. Or when they do say Egypt was black, 
well, not just Egypt, all these other civilizations black, or they was ancient, they were so primitive. These white people, they can't stand the fact that it's not them, but they it's hard for them to fathom that these black folks built all that stuff, all those structures, the way they did it at that early period of time, man. I believe Atlantis was a global connection at different points across the world, which we ran. That was us. All that was us. That was Atlantis. A lot of that stuff is now covered underwater. Pyramidal structures underwater. Ancient boat docks now which are underwater. We built all that. But see, we, we're too busy into love and hip-hop. And all these little stupid-ass shows, Atlanta Housewives. We need to take the time. Parents need to sit down with their children. Get in, like I said earlier, in groups. And study our history, man. All this is ours. All of us are. What do you want to call yourself? Aboriginal, Moors, Israelite, uh, ancient Egyptian or Kemetic, um, Thai Satian, whatever the hell you want to call yourself, man. Sumerian, Persian, whatever. All those people were so called black people, man. Melanoid people. Some people don't want to be called black, fine. Melanoid people. That's all ours. All of us are. And we need to totally take it all back. There's no excuse, man. There's no excuse. And then when people start arguing, arguing, arguing with you, excuse me, about the subject matter, all you got to do is say that one, the Egyptian civilization started at the beginning of the Nile. And the Nile is in Uganda. It start. It goes into in, interior Africa. You want to tell me some white folks in interior Africa? So now flows from south to north, not north to south. You in an argument like that. Because <laughs> they right there, you know, what can they argue? And then just all you got to just tell them that white folks haven't been around that long. They had nothing to do with anything. All they have to do with uh, what we have is the, the thievery and the destruction and the out and out lies and um, forgery of our history. That's all they have. Something to do. That's the only thing they have to do with it. They're out, out and out liars. So Cheddar Man to me is not a surprise. It's just something that it's the continuation of the greatness of our people. When we in Black History Month, we should just not narrow our history down to Harriet Tubman, Underground Railroad, we were brought over as slaves, we were already here. Yes, the slave trade happened, people were brought over as slaves, but we were already here. You had so many um, Black Confederation, but Black Aboriginal groups in the Southeast the Midwest and the Northeast. Hell out the West and the Northwest too, but particularly the Midwest, the Southeast, and the Northeast. We were all there. That's all us. So we need to study our history from a global perspective. And realize that our history is not 1776 to today. Our history goes back to the beginning of time. We must understand that. We must comprehend it. So this Cheddar Man does not surprise me at all. I know that we're the original people on this planet. And other brothers and sisters know. But as collectively, as a group, as a race of people, <laughs> it seems like we don't know or we don't care or we don't want to know. And this is something that we in the black community really, really, really really need to take heed and hold to, but we need to love who we are, learn our history, empower ourselves, realize the fact that we are inferior to no one, teach our children that um, so when they come out the womb of the, the, the mother, teach them everything. And do not be afraid, and do not uh, care about the, what so-called uh, repercussions you're going to face from your so-called white friends, because they're really not your friends then. Because a friend when I sit there, they want to steal and rob your history. So learn to love yourself. Learn to love your own. Stop worrying about other people loving you, liking you. Black first. All right. Or melanoid first. Whatever the hell you want to call yourself. In uh, Aboriginal first. Peace and love, black people. This is G World Southern Space. D, I'm going to do some more videos more consistent. I'm sorry about that. Peace and love, y'all.